Hi, welcome to Learn English and Practice with Marie. Today we're going to do Advanced Vocabulary Builder Lesson 65. We'll go through 10 advanced words and talk about their definitions, parts of speech, and a couple of example sentences. We'll finish with a story and a quick review. This is a series, so if you like this video, please subscribe for more. Let's get going. First, listen to me read the words. Hallowed, emote, capricious, approbation, inveigle, undulate, ledger domain, advocate or advocate, philanthropic, inquisitor. First, we have hallowed. This means made holy, consecrated as an adjective, greatly revered and honored as an adjective. The way I know this word is that the word hallowed is used in a very popular prayer in the Christian tradition, which is the Our Father. So in that prayer, the phrase hallowed be thy name is used. And all that's saying is that the name of God is to be revered or held sacred. So there's the word in context. Examples are, the ancient temple stood as a hallowed place, revered by generations for its spiritual significance. The family gathered annually at the hallowed cemetery to honor their ancestors. Emote. So especially as an actor, to portray emotion in a theatrical manner as a verb. A person might emote if you, you don't necessarily expect them to express emotion, but uh, they express emotion in a really sort of predominant way. Examples are, the actor could emote a range of emotions from profound sorrow to unbridled joy. They were encouraged in therapy to freely emote their feelings to promote healing. Capricious. This means given to sudden and unaccountable changes in mood or behavior. It's an adjective. So someone who's capricious tends to change very dramatically. They might do things on a whim. Their mood could be at high highs and low lows. And uh, someone capricious is known to be kind of impulsive or frequently changing. Examples are, the cat's capricious behavior made it challenging to predict its actions. His capricious decisions caused turmoil and uncertainty among the team. Approbation. This means approval or praise. It's a noun. So a teacher might deliver approbation to a class of students who have performed well on a test. Approbation is a really positive thing. It's praise, it's encouragement, it's cheering someone on. Examples are her hard work and dedication earned her the approbation of her colleagues and supervisors. The coach's approbation after the team's victory boosted their morale. Inveigle. This means to persuade someone to do something by means of deception or flattery, as a verb, or to gain entrance to a place by persuading someone with deception or flattery, also as a verb. So a nice example of this from a Disney movie is in the movie Mulan, towards the end, the uh, group of soldiers are trying to get past some guards. And these mostly male soldiers dress up as beautiful women and they uh, deceive these soldiers to let them through and try to use deception and trickery to try to get past those guards. And it's, it's a funny, cute scene. Examples are, the salesman tried to inveigle customers into buying unnecessary products. He attempted to inveigle his boss into granting him an extended vacation. Undulate. This means to move or go with a smooth up and down motion. It's a verb. So literally, undulate is this motion. I learned this word when I was a child and I took swim classes. So I was told to undulate when doing a dolphin kick. So it's a kick with both of your legs together where you kind of flow with the water and kick up and down. 
uh, and I was told to undulate my hips so that my legs flowed in a way that propelled me forward with that kick. Examples are the wheat fields undulated gracefully into the gentle breeze, creating a mesmerizing sight. The serpent's body began to undulate as it slithered through the grass. Ledger domain. This means skillful use of one's hands when performing conjuring tricks as a noun, deception as a noun, trickery as a noun. So this word is typically used in the context of magicians who are using ledger domain to deceive and excite their audience. Examples are his ledger domain with cards showcased his dexterity and skill in manipulation. Learning the techniques of ledger domain required dedication and hours of practice. Advocate or advocate. This is a person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy as a noun, publicly recommend or support as a verb. So you can hear the pronunciation of the noun versus the verb is a little different. The noun is advocate and the verb is advocate. So when we're talking about the noun, we're talking about a person who speaks up for and fights for a particular cause or advocates for the cause. So an advocate will advocate for something. Examples are, she devoted her life's work to advocate for children's rights and welfare. The lawyer acted as an advocate for the marginalized, striving for equality and justice. Philanthropic. This means charitable as an adjective, generous and benevolent as an adjective. So typically we hear this word in the context of donations or funding a particular cause. So philanthropic work often involves channeling money towards important causes. And you expect very wealthy people to engage in philanthropy. You expect them to be philanthropic because they live with such an excess of money. Of course, that doesn't always happen and that is not okay. If you have a ton of money, be philanthropic. Examples are the philanthropic organization donated millions to aid humanitarian causes around the world. The wealthy individuals engage in philanthropic activities supporting various social causes. Inquisitor. This is a person making an inquiry, especially one that seemed to be excessively harsh or searching as a noun. So this word actually has ties to kind of historical events. And during the Spanish Inquisition, inquisitors would ask people about their religion and really grill them. There was a lot of unjust things that would happen. People would be imprisoned, tortured, killed because they weren't of a particular religious background. So uh, kind of dark origins for this word. But basically, an inquisitor is someone who's asking kind of harsh or cutting questions. Examples are the inquisitor interrogated the suspect relentlessly, seeking to uncover the truth. His role as an inquisitor in the court meant examining witnesses and eliciting information. Let's read a story for some extra practice. In the hallowed chambers of the Spanish Inquisition, the inquisitor, Rodrigo, presided with an unwavering zeal. His capricious judgments were shadowed by an unyielding commitment to the faith. Each accused heretic's fate undulated between confession and denial. Among the accused, young Isabella stood, her eyes a tumultuous sea of emotions. Rodrigo's ledger domain of words sought to inveigle her confession, yet her stoic silence resisted his attempts to manipulate her. Behind the walls, Whisper spoke of an advocate, a clandestine philanthropic figure challenging the Inquisition's cruelty. This mysterious benefactor aimed to counter the Inquisitor's tyranny, seeking approbation for their altruistic acts. In the tribunal, Rodrigo sought approbation for his relentless pursuit of heretics. 
Driven by a zealous belief, his accusations swirled like the undulating waves of the ocean, leaving the accused in a tempest of fear and uncertainty. However, amidst the Inquisitor's fervor, one act of empathy shone through. Rodrigo, behind his austere facade, allowed Isabella a moment to emote. In a fleeting glimpse of humanity, his eyes softened, recognizing her silent resistance against his capricious methods. So, let's go through these words one more time, and I'll spell them as we go, but also give a quick overview of the meanings. Hallowed, H-A-L-L-O-W-E-D. This means made holy, consecrated, or greatly revered and honored. Emote, E-M-O-T-E. This means to portray emotion in a theatrical or extreme manner. It can be associated with an actor or with anyone who's portraying emotion in an extreme way. Capricious, C-A-P-R-I-C-I-O-U-S. So this adjective refers to sudden or unaccountable changes in mood or behavior. Approbation, A-P-P-R-O-B-A-T-I-O-N. This means approval or praise. Inveigle, I-N-V-E-I-G-L-E. This means to persuade through deception or flattery. Undulate, U-N-D-U-L-A-T-E. This is referring to going up and down with a smooth motion. Ledger domain, L-E-G-E-R-D-E-M-A-I-N. This refers to skillful use of one's hands, especially through deception and trickery. Advocate or advocate, A-D-V-O-C-A-T-E. For the noun advocate, it's a person who publicly supports something. Advocate is to publicly recommend or support something. Philanthropic, P-H-I-L-A-N-T-H-R-O-P-I-C. This means charitable, generous, and benevolent. Inquisitor, I. N Q U I S I T O R. This is a person making an inquiry, especially one that's harsh or very searching. So let me read those words one more time. Hallowed, emote, capricious, approbation, inveigle, undulate, ledger domain, advocate, or advocate philanthropic inquisitor. Great job today. There are other videos like this on this channel and there will be more. I'd love it if you could subscribe and keep watching and I'll put playlists and videos right down here. Please ask questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.